back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be using some, lots of things we're going to be using today, abalone shell or mother of pearl. I'm going to be using acrylic and I've got three different, they're not even colours really. I've got dollhouse, I've got truffle and I've got clear candy, all from Rachel Wilder's. Um, her, I love her acrylic and that's all I can tell you. I just love her acrylic. Um, I'm going to be using some glitter. So from the Neon Mylar collection, this is a Micro Mylar collection from Nail Sugar, I'm going to be using the pink one. There are four other colours as well, it comes as a set. Same with Marshmallow Sprinkles, it is part of the Candyland collection, but it's a really good one. So yeah, it's worth getting them all. And then I've got Sweet Dreams Glitter. These are all from Nail Sugar, isn't that gorgeous? And you can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10. I'm going to be using Rachel Wilder's Premium Liquid Monomer. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that into my dappen dish. This is the Sweet Dreams Glitter. Oh, hello. And then this is the Marshmallow Sprinkles. Oh, it's lovely. I love them. Okay, so please don't have a go at... No, no not have a go, don't have a go at me. I don't think I'll have a go at me. But please remember, I haven't done acrylic nails for a long time. And I feel very rusty. So do bear with me. <laughs> We're going to start by creating a smile line. So on this nail, we're going to do our nail bed first, and then we're going to do the free edge. And then on the next nail, if you've seen the thumbnail, you'll see that we've kind of they're kind of backwards. So the first nail we have like a normal, um, like natural coloured nail bed, and then on the next nail, the nail bed is actually kind of like our glittery design, and the free edge is the nail bed colour. So it's kind of a little bit backwards. Now, when I do these, I struggle to get my, the beads of my, the consistency of my beads, I struggle to get them the same every time when I do nail beds. Actually, this time, I think on this nail, I done really well. It's on the, the, the other nail that I struggled a little bit. Um, because you, you'll notice that when you put your beads, when you file the nails, you'll notice that you'll get little marks where the beads meet, but they weren't the same consistency, which you'll see quite blatantly at the end um but it's just something i need to work on really and i think the trouble is because i don't do acrylic that often um I, it's just something that i haven't really worked on but there we go that is my um that is my struggle let me know what you struggle with most doing acrylic i love using acrylic i just haven't done it for a long time um I, yeah so that's ready to file so i'm gonna leave that one now we're gonna work on this one but we're kind of we're gonna work yeah so it's kind of like we're working backwards so yeah we're going to do the nail bed again i want the base color to be pink so this is where this dollhouse acrylic comes in so i'm just putting a thin layer of this on we don't want to put masses of this on because we're going to add lots of layers of glitter like the mylar and the glitter and then some abalone shell so if this cut if this like if it looks a little bit patchy where you haven't completely covered it don't worry because there's going to be glitter and stuff on the top so you're not going to see any sort of patchy bits so because you want to make sure that you don't add too much on because where you file at the cuticle area if you've got glitter and loads of stuff on it you're going to file through all that glitter so do be aware of that now the point of this video is um i wanted to i wanted to um, I've got like, like there's like three things that can make your clear acrylic a lot clearer. Um, I used to struggle when I'd done a set of nails, I would then go in and cap it with clear and I used to sit there and I think, oh, why is it so cloudy? But the, there's like three things that I'm going to tell you that will help you get nice clear acrylic nails. Firstly, is finding a good brand of, of like acrylic. Um, so Rachel Wilder's acrylic is one of the clearest acrylics that I think I've ever used. Um, I absolutely love it. So obviously we're we're onto a winner already. Um, secondly, is once you've done all your design work, like with all the different colours, um, change your monomer give your change your monomer in your dappen dish um because you're gonna have remnants i think that's the right word of like all the the other colors of acrylic that you've used that are going to be in that monomer so clean out your monomer your dappen dish 
put some fresh monomer put some fresh monomer in and like make sure you've given your brush a good clean and then go in with your clear acrylic i'm obviously not doing it here because i'm literally only doing one uh, so i'm only doing like two nails if i was doing a whole set um with a posh design of lots of different colors um that i'd done before i cut them then i would go in and you know change my monomer because my monomer at the moment isn't it's not really dirty so yeah and then there is one more thing which i will mention at the end but for now i've added all my acrylic um uh, sorry i've added all my glitter and some abalone shell and i'm just capping this 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 one i was this was a little bit um this was not very refined <laughs> But the good thing about this is we do have things called hand hand files and e files, so they are a lifesaver. So what I will do is I'm gonna take my I'm gonna leave this one to set. This one is yeah it's ready to file in a minute. It needs to set, but the other one will be ready to file. Um, so I'm just gonna file around my smile line. I'm not gonna do it over my paper towel because I'm picking up my acrylic there, or I'm yeah i don't want to um if i drain some of the liquid out the back of my brush i don't want there to be lots of bits of um dust on my brush when i do you see what i mean so i've just done it over the other side anyway uh then i, I sometimes i go over my nail with monomer um before i start the rest of the design but then i was like oh hang on a minute i want to add some gel paint <laughs> So I was trying to just wipe off some of that monomer. Um, this is Madame Glam's no, no, it's not. It's not Madame Glam's no wipe top coat. It's Madame Glam's black gel paint. I could have, um, I should have filed over the top of this smile line a bit more because that wall was quite high. Um, but what I'm doing is now. Last time I done this on a set of nails, um, I said to you that I put it on too thick and it hadn't cured properly. So when I came to file it. Um, there was some bits of uncured gel in it. So this time I'm making sure that I do nice thin coats, cure it for a full 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in with another one. If you want to, you can do this bit with black acrylic or any color acrylic that you want. I wanted to do it with gel because I really, really like that really fine line that goes all the way around the smile line. I love that. And I can't, I, I'm not very refined with acrylic. So the line that I put in there would be very thick. And then it, it would mean extra filing as well. And I'm lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to do it with the gel paint. And then I'm going to go in with Doll's House. And basically what we've done on the nail bed of the last nail is what we're going to be doing on the free edge of this nail. So we're starting with our pink. This pink is incredible. I do find that with, it uh, doesn't matter which brand you use, if you've got a neon colour, sometimes they, well, pretty much all the time they do marble. So do bear that in mind. Um, it's not, it doesn't make the acrylic any, any less, um, uh, I don't know what the word is, but I still love it. Um, I, 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 you'll get it with most brands, so it's not anything to do with the acrylic, if you know what I mean. But if you roll the bead on, sometimes, well, most of the time that helps, um, as I think I did on this nail. At uh, this time, I think I went in with, oh, I can't remember. I put the glitters on in a different order this time. Can't remember how I done it the first time because I was waffling. Don't forget, I'm, I'm going to tell you in a minute the last thing on how to get really nice, clear acrylic nails. It's really, it's, yeah, oh, I love it. I'm just going to put a little bit of acrylic on those and I'm going to leave that to set before I cap it because I don't want those to move out of place. So I'll leave those just to set up a little bit. And then this one's now set. So I'm going to file around this one. Again, I'm going to do it off the camera so that I don't get dust all over my like all over my brush and stuff in front of me okay and then i'm gonna do the same with this one this one i want to do the very fine black line around that now now the <laughs> around the nail the nail bed the smile line the smile line that's there we go um again i'll do two coats but i think i'm only going to show you me doing one i think so that goes in the lap. Yeah, then I start to show you the second coat, but then I do cut off at some point. 
yes i cut off about here there we go uh so then once that's done no nope, while that's in i'm going to go back to the other nail and i'm just going to cap the free edge with clear now that the uh that little bead that i put on to keep those oh my lamp just came on that scared me um just the bead that i put on to keep those bits of pearly shell in place has set so i can now cap the entire nail i do i am quite a messy acrylic person but i i i, I feel like once i've filed it i do i do I, I do file it quite well um i'm not don't mean to blow my own trumpet but i do yeah if it sometimes it yeah you know when you get all lumps and bumps and stuff in that i hate that oh, i just don't like it i like to file it nice and smooth so that the light light line is like sharp and straight with no interruptions you know I'm, I'm a little bit obsessed with that which is why i do try to file as as well as i can um uh, then this th right here we go right this this bead the consistency of this bead was runnier than the consistency of the next bead and you will notice this when when i filed and when i come to i mean you can even kind of see it now you can see it already because it's not as runny it looks a lot more pigmented the colors a lot more do you see what i mean i'm not very good at explaining this stuff because i don't know the technical ins and outs of things obviously because i just make words up sometimes <laughs> but there we go it is what it is you're just a bit stupid nets but that's fine it's all right being stupid as long as you're a nice person and i think i'm quite a nice person so yeah anyway moving on swiftly because now i'm waffling um that is so you can see our nail bed is now our free edge you see well the color anyway at least i'm gonna leave that to dry to set not to dry and, and then i'm going to file them and then they look something like this they look somewhat like this so you can see on the nail on the left you can see it from here where the colors all right, all right yes this tip number three you tell all the different grits of your files and your buffers so yeah start with your 180 like start with your your coarsest grit then go on to your next coarsest grit and then go on to the coarsest buffer grit and then the, the the finest buffer grit and work your way down through the grits and you will end up with a lovely smooth nail with no like the less scratches you have in the nail look you can see the clearer your acrylic is um this is madam glam's no wipe top coat we're gonna use it for top coat team i haven't said that for so long <laughs> So you'll see in a minute once i've done both nails like just how look doesn't that look super it looks almost gel like in fact i'd say it does look gel like that look you can see my um you can see where the, the the consistency of the beads were different but i'll work on it i'll work on it doesn't look that bad actually does it yes it does no it doesn't but look how look how clear that acrylic is it's all like you can see all the bits of glitter all the bits of shell i just love it oh i love it right that's gonna go in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and then i thought i'd give you a proper zoom in so you can really see, see that these those are the there yeah, that's where the there's a little bit on that nail bed actually um but it you know who cares not me i don't care i'll just keep practicing <laughs> but there we go you can see how super clear they are so i hope this helps um yeah i hope this helps someone who's struggling with getting nice clear acrylic do try rachel's because it's amazing um i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free thanks for watching have an amazing weekend god bless i love you all and i will see you next week with a brand new video actually several brand new videos <laughs> love you bye